Now, one of the cool things about uh, version 3.5, first of all, we added these f uh, f filters here, so it'll allow, allow you to see orders from today, this week, month, uh, last three months, this year, or all of them. So you can see it's just an easy way to get sort of a, an overview of, of what's going on. Second bit here on this screen that's new in 3.5 alpha is this button here, create new order. So what you can do is you can you can create a new order as part of the backend here, which is great for uh, for scenarios where maybe you have uh, customer service personnel answering phones, uh, taking orders like that. You can go ahead and, and have them use this um, um, UI here to um, uh, to provide uh, the details that you want. So if we create a new order here, you can select an order state you want it to uh, to show up in. Basically, we will only allow you to in a, uh, to create new orders in order states that are that are um, that are editable. You can select which store you want to add it uh, to, and also which currency the order should currently use. So let's just create a euro one. Bear in mind this is, uh, uh, and let's uh, do it on when it was submitted. So this is the new one I just created. Let's navigate to that. Now this is just a blank order. There's nothing in it because we basically just created it, right? So when I wanna, when time comes to add new order lines, I can use this button here. I can navigate to anywhere in the catalog and just say, let's just add these products here. Maybe add something from shoes. This is a major order, like that, right? And we can just go ahead and select which price group we want to suck out prices from. Save that, and we should have a bunch of order lines like that. So completely new order in the backend that you can then start to do order processing on like uh, like before. You can go ahead and add, uh, edit billing information if you need to. Um, you can also go ahead and manage discounts on it. So if you need a new discount, just add that. Uh, maybe the customer calls in and is pissed about uh, bad service or something like that. Maybe the maybe something got lost in uh, during uh, during uh, shipping, something like that. So you could go in and appease the customer by adding, giving them 10% discount due to horrible service, I don't know, something like that, right? Also, you can do uh, shipping as part of this um, uh, ship shipment management. WooCommerce supports multiple payments, multiple shipments per order. Uh, so if you want, let's say you want to split this shipment to in two different shipments. So you want some of the, the orders shipped to, the, um, to your office or to your home or I don't know. You can just add a new shipment here. That'll show up down here, and say I want to move one of these order lines here to a different shipment. So what I do is I just grab the one I want and drag it to the um, to the new shipment here using drag and drop here. So kind of a, a nice and easy way to do it. Good. Um, order trails. So for all the stuff I've done in the in the backend here, we create order trails so we can see who did what and when. And basically, this is when we created the order. This is the new order lines we did. And these are the order lines we moved from shipment one to shipment two. So we have sort of a um, sort of an overview of what's going on. So all actions are actually sort of managed like that. 